I think when you fear something, it finds you in life. Uh, just as I go to push open the door, the door opens and it's OJ. <laughs> and I'm standing like this and all the shit you said you was gonna say if you saw him. You know, I just asked that motherfucker, what up killer, what up, you know? <laughs> Like uh, 10 years ago, someone would be like, I saw a documentary. And we'd all be like, nerd. <laughs> now, if someone's like, I saw a documentary, it's like, well, of course you did. How else can you keep up socially? <laughs> You've got to see all the documentaries to know what's going on and what did go on and what will more than likely go on. <laughs> Do you guys see that, uh, that OJ documentary? How did more people not see that? It's, uh, it's incredible. His one friend he grew up with, with the raspy voice. You know what I'm talking about? That dude, OJ. Growing up, OJ was always murdering people. Like, OJ, I can't be murdering people. His boy, what did he do for that? Why, why was? His whole life, his friends are like, I don't, you gotta, you gotta speak up. I don't. OJ! <laughs> I don't think OJ killed Nicole. I think he killed Ron Goldman. And then Nicole accidentally killed herself. Like he has the shittiest theories. I think, I think Nicole and Ron killed OJ. <laughs> and then the two of them. <laughs> embodied what we now know as OJ. The documentarian's like, I can't use any of this footage. I can't use any of this. Where did you even get that? I, mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't seen him in like 35 years. He might have done it. Actually, he might. He did it. He did it. He did it. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick, he caused a lot of consternation, man. Everybody's upset about that taking a knee thing. Man. Even OJ weighed in on it. OJ said it was disrespectful not to stand for the national anthem. I'm like, hey, uh, didn't you kill two people? <laughs> I mean, you and Ray Lewis are pretty judgmental for murderers. <laughs> I'd rather take a knee than a knife. <laughs> you gonna stand for the national anthem? You didn't even stop in a Bronco. Who would have imagined, like if you went to a psychic two years ago and they told you, uh, Bill Cosby will be in jail and OJ will be out. <laughs> you would have said, give me my fucking money back. You don't know what you're talking about. That's impossible. But here we are. I read an article where OJ said he wants to be a preacher. Yeah, that shit made me laugh, too. Because if OJ preached, he have to preach the Nine Commandments, OK? <laughs> that motherfucker don't know all 10. Come on. He don't know all 10. Anybody got a friend that always got negative shit to say to the point where you almost try to avoid them? Anybody? Yes. Ooh, let's talk about them motherfuckers. Just people that, you know, you could say hi first and beautiful day out, but they start conversations with, you know who got chlamydia? You know, stop, <laughs> man, stop. What the fuck you bring that to me for, you know? <laughs> but he said to me, um, out of the blue, yo, man, I didn't know OJ didn't like you, bro. And I'm like, what? <laughs> this is the, the butcher of Brentwood you're talking about, okay? <laughs> Don't tell me this motherfucker don't like me. Somebody who's been accused of cutting off heads and shit. Don't tell me this motherfucker don't like me. Nah, that's in me. I can't stop thinking about that now. I went to Vegas. And apparently OJ lives in Nevada now. Okay, I walk in a restaurant with my girl. After my show, we go to have a steak. And uh, I seat her. And then I go to the bathroom, because I'm over 50. And, uh, yeah, some of you know what I mean. You have to pee all the fucking time when you're over 50. All the, there are times when I pee, 
And then I'm washing my hands and I say, hey, I have to pee again. <laughs> Where did that pee come from, man? <laughs> so I'm going to the bathroom, and I think when you fear something, it finds you in life. Uh, just as I go to push open the door, the door opens, and it's OJ. <laughs> and I'm standing like this, and all the shit you said you was gonna say if you saw him, you know, I just asked that motherfucker, what up, killer, what up, you know? <laughs> I didn't say none of that shit. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I did. My hand was like this, and I said, ooh, juice. That's, that's exactly what I did. I don't know what the fuck got into me. I've never said, ooh, juice, in my life. I, I've been at Jamba and not say, ooh, juice. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I went from Arsenio Hall to Rue Hall. <laughs> Hugged him and peed two more times. <laughs> I, I was just in Florida. They don't want OJ to live in Florida. He's living in Nevada, but they won't let him come where he wants to go. I, I guess he did a lot of crazy shit. He had to do crazy shit when he was there because it's cocaine kingpins in Florida. <laughs> but they saying, but not OJ. Fuck that nigga, not OJ. <laughs> they won't let OJ come down there. I read stuff I didn't even know about. I guess when he was there, he had a road rage incident, you know, where OJ was on the freeway and somebody gave him the finger and he followed him because OJ loved a chase. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker, he don't care if he in the front or the back, he loved a freeway chase. <laughs> and he followed him. That's the ultimate sign of bad luck. What's the over under that with all the people Riding around Florida, <laughs> you could give somebody the finger, and when you get to a stop sign, you look in the rearview mirror and realize it's OJ fucking Simpson behind you. That's horrible luck. Now OJ is coming towards your car, putting on a glove and shit. <laughs> Motherfucker dropping socks and. Suddenly your mirror says, this nigga's head may be larger than it appears, and shit. <laughs> the juice. He ain't OG like he used to be. It ain't like the, the commercials in the airport. That motherfucker's PJ now. He's prune juice. That motherfucker needs. <laughs> if the light change, he might not get to your fucking car. Yeah. <laughs>